Is the universe flat or curved? Now, when we talk about the shape of the universe in physical cosmology, the shape of the universe refers to both its local and global geometry. Local geometry is about curvature, which is influenced by gravity, while global geometry deals with topology, essentially how the universe is connected on a grand scale. So how do we even start to figure this out? Do you? Well, thanks to Einstein's general relativity, we know that gravity plays a huge role in shaping space. Imagine space as a massive trampoline. Put a heavy object in the center and it curves. That's what gravity does to space. But this is just the local geometry. Globally, the universe's topology is even more intriguing. Imagine different types of spaces. A simply connected space, like Euclidean space, is infinite and flat. On the other hand, a multiply connected space like a three torus has zero curvature but is finite. The million dollar question is, which one describes our universe? We don't know if our universe is simply connected or has some kind of cosmic looping structure. If the universe is flat and infinite, it could expand forever. But if it's curved and finite, it might eventually collapse back on itself. Current observations haven't found any evidence of a multiply-connected topology, but they haven't ruled it out either. The universe's structure can be examined from two angles, which are local geometry and global geometry. Local geometry relates to the curvature of the universe, primarily concerning what we can observe. Global geometry, on the other hand, pertains to the universe's overall shape and structure. Imagine the observable universe as a roughly spherical region, extending 46.5 billion light-years in all directions from our vantage point on Earth. The deeper we look into space, the older and more red-shifted it appears. In theory, we could look all the way back to the Big Bang, but in practice we can only see up to the cosmic microwave background. This is roughly 370,000 years after the Big Bang, since anything beyond that is opaque to us. Studies show that the observable universe is isotropic and homogeneous on the largest scales. What does that mean? It means that on a grand scale, the universe looks the same no matter where you are or which direction you look. But here's the catch. If the observable universe encompasses the entire universe, we might determine its structure through observation. However, if the observable universe is smaller, we can only grasp a portion of it making it impossible to deduce the global geometry through observation alone. Different mathematical models of the universe's global geometry can be constructed, all consistent with current observations and general relativity, so it's unclear whether the observable universe matches the entire universe or if it's significantly smaller. Scientists generally accept that the universe is larger than what we can observe. As of 2024, current observational evidence suggests that the observable universe is spatially flat with an unknown global structure. This means there's still so much we have yet to uncover about the cosmos. The curvature of the universe describes how the geometry of space differs locally from flat space. This curvature can be categorized into three types, zero curvature, positive curvature, and negative curvature. Zero curvature, also known as a flat universe, is where a drawn triangle's angles add up to 180 degrees, and the Pythagorean theorem holds true. This is what we refer to as Euclidean space. Positive curvature, on the other hand, is where a drawn triangle's angles add up to more than 180 degrees. Imagine the surface of a sphere like Earth. The local geometry of the universe depends on the density parameter omega. If omega equals 1, the universe is flat. If omega is greater than 1, the universe has positive curvature. If omega is less than 1, the universe has negative curvature. Scientists measure omega in two primary ways. One method involves calculating the average density of the universe and dividing it by the critical energy density, which is the mass energy needed for a flat universe. Data from the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe and the Planck spacecraft provide values for the universe's mass energy constituents, including normal mass, relativistic particles and dark energy. Another method involves measuring angles across the observable universe using the cosmic microwave background. By analyzing the power spectrum and temperature anisotropy of the CMB, scientists can determine the universe's curvature. For instance, the boomerang experiment measured the angles and found that the sum is very close to 180 degrees, corresponding to omega, equals 1 plus minus 0.12.
These measurements suggest that the spatial curvature of the universe is very close to zero, although they do not precisely constrain its sign. This means that while the local geometries of space-time are generated by the theory of relativity, we can approximate three space using familiar Euclidean geometry. The friedman lemaitre robertson walker model, which uses Friedman equations, is commonly used to model the universe's curvature. We've journeyed through the local geometries of our universe, but now it's time to zoom out and explore the global structure of the cosmos. Global universal structure covers the geometry and topology of the whole universe, both the observable universe and beyond. While local geometry gives us a glimpse into the universe's nature, it is the global geometry that truly defines its vast expanse and intricate design. The universe is often taken to be a geodesic manifold, free of topological defects. Relaxing either of these complicates the analysis considerably. Essentially, a global geometry is a local geometry plus a topology. A fascinating fact is that a topology alone does not give a global geometry. For instance, Euclidean 3-space and hyperbolic 3-space share the same topology but possess different global geometries. Investigations within the study of the global structure of the universe aim to answer some of the most profound questions. Is the universe infinite or finite in extent? Is the geometry of the global universe flat, positively curved or negatively curved? Is the topology simply connected like a sphere or multiply connected like a torus? One of the lingering questions is whether the universe is infinite or finite. A finite universe has a finite volume that could theoretically be filled with a finite amount of material. In contrast, an infinite universe is unbounded with no numerical volume capable of filling it. Mathematically, this is referred to as boundedness. Assuming a finite universe, it can either have an edge or no edge. Spaces with an edge are difficult to treat conceptually and mathematically. Spaces without edges, such as the three-sphere and three-torus, are more manageable and are referred to as compact without boundary. These spaces are finite in extent and complete, making them closed manifolds. In the 1990s and early 2000s, empirical methods for determining the global topology using measurements on scales showing multiple imaging were proposed and applied to cosmological observations. More recent research suggests that acceleration effects measured on local scales in the patterns of galaxy movements could, in principle, reveal the global topology of the universe. The curvature of the universe places constraints on its topology. A spherical, positively curved universe implies a compact topology. For flat or hyperbolic geometries, the topology can be either compact or infinite. Contrary to some textbook claims, a flat or hyperbolic universe can be finite if it is multiply-connected. The latest research, including the final results of the Planck mission, shows the cosmological curvature parameter to be consistent with a flat universe. This means that while we continue to explore and understand the cosmos, the exact nature of its global structure remains a tantalizing mystery. In a universe with zero curvature, the local geometry is flat. The most familiar such global structure is Euclidean space, which is infinite in extent. Flat universes that are finite include the Taurus and Klein bottle. There are even 10 finite closed flat three manifolds, known as Bieberbach manifolds. A positively curved universe can be thought of as a three-dimensional hypersphere or other spherical three manifolds, like the Poincaré dodecahedral space. A hyperbolic universe with negative spatial curvature resembles an infinitely extended saddle shape. There are many possible hyperbolic three-manifolds, some of which are informally called horn topologies, like the Picard horn. When cosmologists refer to the universe as open or closed, they often mean whether the curvature is negative or positive, respectively. A closed universe is a closed manifold, while an open universe can be either a closed or open manifold. As we conclude our exploration of the universe's shape and structure, it's clear that the cosmos holds more questions than answers. The mysteries of its curvature, topology and overall geometry continues 